Hi, this is Rochelle with Journal Life's Journey, and I recorded the footage for this Stars and Stripes project and did not realize that I was having mic issues. So hopefully you can get past the mic issues and still enjoy the video. I'm still working on improving the quality of these videos. So I hope you'll stick with me. After I found out that I was having mic issues, I did not record every step of the process, but at the end I will show you where I'm at now and then we will pick up from there in the next video. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. And recently I received a subscription box from Your Creative Studio. I will link to them in the description box below. I did an unboxing on my other channel, Scrap Craftastic, and I will also link to that below as well as in the iCard up above. And so there were some envelopes that some of the goodies in the subscription box came in, which is these brown envelopes, which I thought these were really nice. These are nice envelopes, really. So I decided I would use these from the subscription box to make something. So in addition to that, I've pulled in some junk mail envelopes. And then this is a big one here in the back that I am going to use to make like a mail flippy folio type thing. So we'll be putting that together somehow. Um, not sure how I'm going to do that just yet. This setup is partially inspired by Liz the Paper Project here on YouTube. I will link to the video in the description box below. So I also have these new digital papers. Uh, this is Stars and Stripes. I may add some ephemera tags, journaling cards to it. I haven't decided, but I intended for this to be just a small kit that you can use for the upcoming holidays. So you don't really, I don't really see stuff like this a lot. And I needed some holiday themed paper once and I wasn't able to find any, so I made some. Okay, and these are very grungy. They are not your typical bright, uh, flowery, pink um, digital papers. So, they're not your typical vintage digital papers. So, I did print these double-sided. I'm actually in the process of printing some single-sided versions to use for this, but I'm going to just flip through these real quick to show you. This one actually is single-sided because the original one did not print properly so I'm showing you this one and I the orientation on these is vertical for most of them depending on what you're doing you can use them horizontally on some of them um, but I all the kits that I've done so far have all been uh, horizontal so I thought a portrait or a vertical layout would be good that way you could make um, standard size travelers notebooks with them so that was an, the idea that I had when I initially started this. So again, this is vertical, but you could also use it this way. It works both ways. So this is the stripes with the blue florals. It kind of mimics the flag, kind of. And then this is the one that didn't print right. I don't know why it didn't print right, but it didn't print the right colors on that one. And then this one with the red floral down the side, again, it can work this way too. So it's just either way you want it. And I'm not sure I was in frame on this one. So let me show you this one again. It goes like that. Then this one with the Declaration of Independence and the Forefathers on it. And then this is just a backing page. Uh, it's like if you have journaling cards you want to back it with or whatever else I come up with for this kit this this page can be used for backing then we have this one with the blue floral and the red and white stripes or the red grunge stripes then we have this blue grungy again this can be a background depending on what you want to put it on then we have the red white and blue Again, it can go either way. This one can go either way. This one can go either way. So, so red, white, and blue. Then forefathers, independence, we the people on that one in a vintage look. 
then here we go this one says stars and stripes in the background stars and then the stripes then this is just the stripes. stripes so that is it so now i'm going to use that to make my little fourth of july memorial day um flippity flappity junk mail thing <laughs> i'm going to start putting the pieces together how i want them i think that's the best way to start uh, and then decide what I want to be a pocket and what I'm going to seal up. So I had these lined up the way I wanted them initially. So this was going to go here. I guess this one was going to go here. So once I get them positioned the way that I want them, I will go ahead and start gluing them. So I want this to be down to the edge as close as possible like that so then this one i would glue to this where's my pencil So I'm going to put this one here and here. So then that's going to go like that. Then when I get ready to put this on, it will go on the envelope like so. And then this one is going to go kind of in the middle of those two so that's going to go like that so if that goes like that then I want to put this one here so I'm just going to put a little glue on this flap and slide that on here kind of center it make sure everything is pressed down so when this is put together let's make sure that's down good then this will go on here like this So that's kind of our base put together. And then we'll figure out what, where we're going from here. Okay, so now I'm gonna start choosing the papers that I'm gonna use. And I also may go back and print some of these on cardstock because I think I wanna use, oops, this is stuck, this shouldn't be stuck yet. I think I wanna use cardstock on this one this envelope is open at the top so i just need to decide what papers i want to go where and trim them down and start gluing them down let's see i don't want to use that one i kind of i might use this one on the other envelope so let's see all right so to measure these, this is what I do. And I am going to go back and print some cardstock and use a cardstock piece on the back. Um, but I think I want to use this on the front. I think, I think. I'm just winging it for a bit here. So I'm just going to line this up with my envelope. I guess it's better to leave it folded. And I'm going to try and cut it as close to the same size as possible. So I just line it up like this and mark it with a pencil on that side and on this side. So this gives me the width and then this mark gives me the height. And fingers crossed that I can cut it correctly. And then let's make sure dry fit, dry fit. 
think it's okay. So then let's cut this one. So I am going to ink the edges, um, but I'm going to cut my pieces and put things together first. And I'm not going to torture you with that whole process of me measuring and cutting. That is basically how I'm going to be doing the measuring. It's just lining the piece up with, but if I had cut that, then I wouldn't have to measure this piece. But yeah, so I'm not going to torture you with that. I'm just going to go ahead and do all the measuring and cutting, and then I will be back. And we can start putting the pieces together. Okay, I'm just popping back in because I did go ahead and print this on double-sided on cardstock. I don't have any photo cardstock, so my colors are going to be a little dull on this, but I think I'm only using, well, I'm mainly using this for the outside. So I am going to make myself an, like an envelope flap. And I was thinking I would make one to come up from the bottom, but I'm, I'm not sure at this point because I don't want the dull red up against the bright red. So, so I'm trimming this. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> I'm trimming this uh, right at the golden line there. Is that straight? Okay, and then, let's see. I think I'm done with the paper trimmer for the, a moment. So let's move that out of the way. So then I'm going to line all of this up and I'll show it all to you in a moment. Oh no, it's almost perfect. If I'm using it that way, but I'm not, I'm using it this way. So, let's see, I guess I do need the paper trimmer again. I need to cut it oops, about right here. So, let's go ahead and do that. Then, I want to kind of fold this like so and make myself a decorative edge flap with the scissors. So let's see if we can do this and make it nice. Okay. So that's gonna be our flap that comes over. I'm gonna score maybe like an inch or three quarters of an inch. Let's try three quarters of an inch. And then fold that over. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. I haven't done the little envelopes. I've only done the large ones. So this is how this will go. Something like this anyway. These are going to go in there. Da, 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 da. Okay. So we got the left envelope flap that opens like that. Then this one is going to open like this. I got to cover the little pieces, the little envelopes. Then the middle piece will be this. I don't know how I'm going to decorate this, but I'm going to add something to this. Um, and then this piece will either go all the way to the back like this, or I don't know how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to manage that. But it's going to fit over the top like this. Now maybe I should do this side let's see I kind of like that and then I could put a closure on it that comes around and holds everything together maybe I kind of like that it says stars and stripes and that is blue 
so we may use that side yeah okay so that is where I'm at so far I don't know if I want a flap coming from the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and start inking this up I had to kind of modify <laughs> one of my ink daubers because I don't have one for this this is antique linen and I think this one is gonna work the best hopefully it will ink up I had it in my travel kit so I'm just going to take everything apart and ink the envelopes and then put everything back together once it's once I've done all the inking let's see I have a piece of craft mat here and I'm just going to use that to help give me some firm surface to ink on and once I'm done with this we can move on to the next step which I'm not sure what that's gonna be yet but we'll move on okay so I decided to make some ephemera pieces to go with the papers this kit was initially supposed to be a small kit but I've since added to it so we have somewhat of a coin envelope um, and an insert piece to go with that. I did a wood grain with the red, white, and blue florals. For This is an envelope. And then we have two pockets and the inserts and then a journal plate to go with it. And then this envelope with some faux washi strips to go with it. And then these two envelopes so and I've already printed just I, I did another version of the backing page so one version is light one version is dark this is the darker version I'm sorry this is the lighter version um, the darker version is with the others so and I didn't print on the back of this one and then this is an envelope with some small tags and inserts for that then this one these are some digitals I'm working on for something else <laughs> then this one what I did is print it two to a page so I printed the tag page and the pocket page so this is the tag page it's got a weird printing situation going on here but this is this page and this page so this is how it comes out when you put two to a page because I wanted smaller pockets to go on here so that is where I'm at I'm gonna go fussy cut these pieces out and I've also printed some freebies from that I found on Pinterest and then I'll see what we've got and where we're gonna go from there I guess I'm gonna cut all of this out all right so I'll work on that and I'll be back okay so let's hope that this mic does better than the other mic what happened was uh, I had a mic connected but it was still using the mic in my laptop so hopefully this will work better so okay let's start with this this is where I am with the project so far I have made like this buckle on the front I'm not sure how well this is gonna hold up because of the way that it bends but I'm gonna try and train it a little bit so that it doesn't wear it out but yeah so that is how the front looks I have some laces and crochet trim around this I don't know what to call this but I was working on some deco pieces for this kit to offer as freebies and this is one of them it is not available yet but it will be soon so I added the flap and then I felt like it needed a little bit more on the front so I doubled up on that so it opens up like this this is a pocket I haven't filled any of the pockets yet so I need to use the tags and well I have a few things in here but it's not where I want it to be and then I also add decide to go ahead and add another flap to the bottom so this opens up like this it has a pocket here I'll probably put some type of deco on the side here then it opens up like this I did not open these two envelopes I just let them stay sealed I'm thinking of putting some kind of notepad here 
some type of banker's envelope style thing here and just to decorate the flap so i did go ahead and glue all the papers to the different envelopes i added some washi here from my stash just because i felt like this envelope was the weakest of the envelopes and i wanted to make sure that it was going to hold on and not tear so i did open this one up here these are opened on the inside here which was probably not the best idea i probably should have opened them on the top but since I'd already punched the thumb hole in them, I'm just going to leave them and I'll just slide something down in those. So those open up. Then, am I even in frame? <laughs> Hopefully. So then I have added a pocket on the inside. Um, and then I have this envelope that's from the kit just tucked in over here. I love this image, so I wanted it to be prominent. This is one of the envelopes from the kit that I put together and I'll have to put something in that. And then this is just a scrap that I'm thinking I'm going to turn into a tag that I stuck in there. So that is everything glued down. Let's see. So this goes like this and like this. And I think I'm not going to put anything on the outside of these two. Just everything will be on the inside and I may end up putting a booklet or something in the big pocket here but that is where i am with this uh and then this is the back i was thinking about putting a pocket or something here but i don't know i may not uh, and then this is the size i was also considering putting some lace there because you can see some of the lines from the envelope that were on the envelopes but I don't know. But I'm enjoying this. I'm loving the way it's coming out. And I guess I will come back when I start putting the ephemera and journaling cards and everything in so that you can see how I decorate it. But this is the base. Again, I use junk mail envelopes and envelopes or packaging from the subscription box that I got. So if I can remember to fold this up right, that would be great. <laughs> All right, for the inside, for the journaling cards, I did not specifically make journaling cards for this kit. So what I did was just use Adobe and open the PDF and tell it to print four to a page. And then I went back and printed one of the backing pages on the back. So I have journaling cards that I can just cut up and use in the different pockets. And if I want to make them even smaller, I think I can do six to a page and eight to a page. And I may go back and do that. But that is where I am with this now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my apologies for the mic issues. I'm working on it. Thanks for watching and I'll holler at y'all next time. Bye.